Welcome folks to this new tutorial video that relates to the electric circuit laboratory. This is still lab one video where we are interested in showing you how to use uh, B-SPICE circuit simulation using ORCAD to simulate the circuits that we're going to use in the first lab. So uh, let's start ORCAD and to start ORCAD I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to select the capture CI s light capture cis light is the name of the software so i'm going to click on that when the software is uploaded what i want you to do is i want you to go to file and use a new project a new project you can go to new project here or you can select the new project icon over here so let me go to the menu i'll select a new project and now you need to make sure that you select the B-SPICE analog or mixed analog digital. Don't use BCB board, don't use programmable logic, and don't use schematic. If you use schematic, basically you will be able to draw the circuit, but you will not be able to simulate the circuit. B-SPICE is the simulation software. So make sure you select B-SPICE analog or mixed AD. This is extremely important. Let's give it any name. I'll call it circuit one underscore a give it any name you want it's not important what's important is that this file will be stored in this uh, directory this is the default directory that i have all my orcad circuits will be stored under my document basically and i'm going to click ok so go ahead and click on blank project this is basically the interface, the schematic interface where you're going to draw the circuit. So what we do is we draw the circuit using drag and drop button. So the first thing I need to do is I need to come over here where it says place part. I'm going to click OK on it. Now, if it was your first time using the software, you need to add libraries of the components. So to add libraries, you should have nothing here but the design cache, which is basically free, nothing in it basically right now, which basically is in an empty cache at this point if this was your first time installing the software. So I'm going to add library. I'm going to click on add library. So I need few libraries to add. The first one I'm going to call basically the eval lib. I need the eval eval lib so if i write eval it will show me the eval lib olb i will add that and then i also need the analog library so i'm going to add the analog and i also need to add the source library That basically will give me the sources. And I think at this point, I'm uh, able to have enough libraries to simulate the first circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and I will select all those three libraries by basically uh, right clicking in all of them. And now I'm going to search for the first element that I need, which is the resistor. So here I'm going to click R on the bar at this point i have r so it will show me that r is located in the analog library i'm going to double click on it and now i have a resistor showing up in here let me zoom in a little bit so we can see it so there is a resistor showing in here i'm going to place this resistor here it automatically give it a name r1 and it has a value of 1k I can change this value, for example, to 4.7K. I will click on the value. I will make it 4.7K. So for students who are taking this lab my semester, they need to enter the proper value because those values change from one semester to another one. So now I entered 4.7K. Now I'm going to select the library. I'm going to make this uh, resistor look vertical. So I'm going to click on the letter R. The letter R will rotate this uh, element which is the resistor so now what the, it is basically drawn as vertical resistance and then i need to add the uh, uh, dc uh, bar supply so i'm gonna write uh, on the bar i will write v dc and it's going to be under the source library so the source library will have all those sources one of them is the dc source so we're going to have the dc source over here and i'm going to place it 
over here and then what I need to do is I need to change this value so I'm gonna make this voltage for example to be uh, 10 volts and you need to enter the value for the voltage that is the same as the one you have in your lab in order for you to simulate the circuit so the idea of the circuit simulation basically is that when you build a circuit in the lab the measured value should be very close to the simulated value uh, which match your calculated values so here I'm, I'm making this voltage source to be 10 volts and the resistor is 4.7k I'm gonna come here where it says place a wire I'm gonna click on it basically I'm gonna click on place wire and then I'm gonna connect this voltage source to this resistor and that's what I have here uh, from the top and also from the bottom I will connect the voltage source to the resistor uh, there is one more thing I need to add which is the ground so I'm gonna come here where it says place ground and I will make sure that I will uh, select this one where it says zero cap sim so I will choose this one and I will place it at the bottom this is your ground node that's where it reads zero volts now I need to set the simulation because there is different kinds of simulations that we can have so I'm gonna come to this button where it says a new simulation I'm gonna click on simulation I will give it a name I usually call them sim1 sim2 and so forth so I'm gonna call it sim1 here and now it's gonna open up the simulation window for me that's the simulation window so this uh, first assignment we're gonna do bias point simulation so uh, make sure it's time domain general setting and that's it that's all what I need right general setting and that's it so it's gonna simulate the circuit for a thousand nanoseconds basically but that's irrelevant to us because the DC circuit not a time domain circuit and I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna click on simulate that's it this basically here says run B spice I'm gonna simulate the circuit run B spice which means that simulate the circuit so I'm gonna simulate the circuit and the circuit has been simulated so there is a, a graph window here we don't need that so you can close it it's not important for us in this simulation so I'm gonna click on this one which is the voltage bias point so this will show me the voltage at this end in reference to the zero so this will read 10 volts in reference to the zero so if you place the DMM from this node to here you're gonna read 10 volts that's basically the voltage I'm gonna click on it here to make it disappear I'm gonna click on this one this will give me the current bias point or bias values so here it shows me that it is 2.128 milliamp now it shows you this current on the top that means the arrow enters from the top of the resistor the arrow enters from the top of the resistor and for the voltage source it shows you 2.128 at the bottom that means the arrow is entering the bottom which means leaves the top now B spice have this convention for voltage sources because the voltage source gonna be basically supplying power here and the resistor gonna be absorbing power so that's all what you need to do in the first simulation but you can also do the power if you want it so this is the power it shows you that the power for this resistor is a positive value its absorbent power will equal to 21.28 milliwatts and the power supplied by the voltage source is a negative power which is 21.28 milliwatts so this basically gonna supply power and this is gonna deliver power if you add them up it should be zero in summary you build the circuit add the ground create a simulation that's it just create a simulation give it a name and then use the uh, bias point voltage to show you the voltage the bias point current to show you the current and the bias point power to show you the power now let's move to the second circuit so if I'm gonna move to the second circuit I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna create a new project so I will call it circuit one underscore B which is the second circuit I will create a blank project I'll say okay so now I created a blank project 
and now I'm going to build a circuit. Now keep in mind that we don't need to add the library anymore. The libraries are added only once, and once we add the library, that's it. So make sure you select all the libraries you have, and the first thing I'm going to build is basically the resistor. So I'm going to say place part R. So here is my resistor. I'm going to click on rotate to rotate. I'm going to zoom in so we can see it. So we're going to have two resistors here. So I'm going to place those two resistors. They're going to be connected in parallel. One going to be uh, 4.7K. And the other one going to be 1K. So R1 here is 4.7 and R2 is 1K. Uh, you know, those values change from one semester to another one. So make sure that you enter the values correctly when you simulate the circuit for your first lab assignment. And then uh, I'm going to add uh, the voltage source, VDC, which is basically part of the source library. I'm going to double click on it. This is my DC uh, voltage source. I'm going to make it 10 volts. You can change the value also for that DC value. But 10 volts is good enough for now. And now we're going to basically wire the circuit. So here we're going to have place wire. We're going to place the wires. Like that. And you will get used to it once you do it a couple of times. Uh, it might be a little bit cumbersome early on. But it's not that hard. Don't forget to add the ground. So we're going to add the ground. Remember that this is the ground we need the zero slash cap sim. Uh, I'm going to add the ground at the bottom. So this is basically we read zero volt and the voltage here should read 10 volts. So now we're going to create a new simulation because it's a, it's a new project. So we're going to call it sim one. You can give it any name you want. So here make sure it's a transient general setting and that's it. Click apply. Okay. That's all what we need. Now we're going to run the simulation. You have this window, we say that, let's close this window. That's where you can have graphs and all that, but we aren't going to do that here. I'm going to click close. So after I close that window that I don't need, now I need to measure the voltage. So I'm going to come to the uh, enable bias voltage display here. It's basically the voltage bias value, uh, DC value. It shows you that this is 10 volts in reference to here. So the voltage from this side to that is 10 volts. I'm going to make the voltage disappear here. I'm going to show the current measurements. And you can see that the current measurements are shown, such as for R1, the current enters from the top. That's why I have the value here. So it reads 2.128 milliamp. The current enters from the top here, which is 10 milliamps. And the voltage source will have the current enters from the bottom, which means leave the top, uh, which is 12.13 uh, milliamp. So Beast Bias will show you the side of the current that enters the element. So this enters from the bottom and those two enter the resistors from the top. Clearly if you add those two values you're gonna get that. The same thing you're gonna do with the power. So the power here gonna be 21.28 milli what the bar here is 100 milliwatt those are positive powers that are absorbing and resistors always absorb power and the power supply here the voltage bar supply is the one that is supplying the power that's why it's a negative value and it's basically the addition if you add those two it will give you that value it uses four decimal places or four decimal values to show you the precision of the value. So those are basically the same. So you have simulated a very simple circuit, a DC circuit, to show you how you can basically display the measured uh, voltage, current, or power. And it's very simple thing to do in BSPICE or CAD. I hope this will help you to set up the first experiment. And also those who are interested in learning ORCAD, I hope this will help them as well. And thank you so much for watching my video.